Okay guys, uh, I'm Mark Nolan, you know me, I'm here with Crypto, he's actually filming, and we have Cliff Malkowitz. Uh, my understanding is, uh, I'll let him introduce himself, but Jewish lawyer, never fired a gun, uh, or do you like guns? What's going on Cliff, you like guns? Uh, I'm not a fan of them, I don't really really have much of an opinion on one way or the other, except I like them to be nice and safe and not used on people if at all possible. Uh, how are you feeling right now? In the gunfire, just behind you, less than 100 yards. We're about to buy a lot of ammo. What are your anticipations? How do you feel? I'm hoping I can hit a few targets. <laughs> Any nervous? As long as it's not pointed at me, I think I'm all right. All right, let's go inside, let's get some ammo, and uh, we'll see you on the range. All right, so we're here. Uh, so Cliff, ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready to take out some targets. I'm ready to show the second 2A boys that a liberal can pick up a gun and shoot a target. Okay, so as of right now, all the stuff that we've heard and we've seen, are you a fan of guns right now? I'm a little apprehensive from what I've seen around me and hoping that the two of us can make it out to alive, but I'm confident we can. All right, and are you ready to go at some point today, possibly to a fully automatic gun? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. This is Cliff's first time ever firing a firearm. It's a Cougar 22 man rifle, Mark II. Oh, okay, yep. Big finger off the trigger. Let's see. So, you're like, you're left handed, right? Alright. So, click the gun up with your left hand. Okay, here you go. Hey, first hit. All right, Cliff, what do you think? I think I did all right. Why did I hit it a couple of times? Did it feel good to hit it? You know, broken clock would be right at least two times a day. <laughs> feel good? Feel good to hit it? Yeah. I like that. All right. All right, guys, Cliff's done about four magazines, and he's starting to figure it out. So no pressure. Yes. Am I done? <laughs> Take a look, you tell me. Look at your weapon system. Ah, Alright, so you got, you got the end, you did a little of this. It was empty. Mm -hmm. It was a little anticipation, but you hit 9 out of 10. I did? Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. You're killing it. We got the video to prove it. Cliff, you're doing good already. I got three other ones. Oh, you want to flip it around. Bullets, uh, gotta go. Yep, there you go. Finger off the. Okay, guys, Cliff has been, he's fired the 22s, he's fired the 9 millimeters. He's fired 380, all handguns, and now he's going to not only experience a rifle. Okay, what he's got here is the Select Fire Class 3 fully automatic rifle, and he's going to experience it. We're going to do a shot or two on semi, and then he's going to go full America. Okay? Ready? Okay, guys, I'm, I'm demonstrating this for Cliff. Cliff's never seen this before. Cliff, we're going to help you, but you're going to insert the magazine. Okay. Make sure it's seated. Close the bolt. I'm going to show you on semi. Ready? Ready? Go. All right, Cliff, insert the magazine. Give it a little tug, make sure it's in. All right. Slap that, this bolt. Let's get your finger out of the way. Yes, what do you mean slap it? Yep, just push it. Okay. Now you're ready. Okay, finger off the trigger. Take your thumb. We're gonna put you on, flick it just down once. Send me. Yeah, you're right on. Cliff, you're hitting it. Get, get that stock higher into your shoulders so you don't have to bring your head down to the gun. Bring your sights up to your eyes. Like that? Yep. Just, yep. And get it into the pocket and pull it into your shoulder tight. Get it into the pocket there. Like that. Want to go full auto? Yeah, time. All right. All right, hold on. Ready? Take your finger off the trigger. I see that thumb. Huh? See your thumb right here, the selector. Yeah. Flick it all the way. There we go. Uh, you want to, you wanna before you fire, we'll help you with your stance a little bit. Yeah, get your right foot back. There you go. And lean, just lean into it. Lean forward into it. Okay. You did good. You did good. Well, that's why I did let off the trigger. It almost <laughs> ran for the hills. Yep, yep. All right, so Cliff, today you started with a 22 caliber, right? And you're about to go to a 50 caliber. Let me ask you a question. 
Did you enjoy the semi or the full? I like the semi. The full is like, unless you're used to it, you know, it's it's uh, kind of a hard to keep on a target. Right, yes. Yeah. So let me ask you this. If you were in actual war, yeah. would you want the semi or the full? I would probably want the semi. Okay, because of the accuracy? Yeah. Okay, so now going up to what you have there, and you can put those down now. Uh, now that you're coming to the 50 caliber, what do you expect? I expect to take out some hard targets. Unless okay. you want to do it. Cliff, if you want to do it. Oh, I'm happy to watch you and see. Cliff will have you do it first. Okay, your first time, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, I've never fired a 50, but it's this So here, what we're going to do is we're going to hook that up there. All right, I'm ready. All right, pull it tight to your shoulder, and when you're ready, squeeze the trigger. That was a good trigger pull, though. I heard how nice and slow that was, dude. All right, so get yourself back on target real quick. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're on target. Keep that up against your shoulder. Pull it up in here. And this keep your face, is amazing. Your face forward. <laughs> All right, you ready? You might squeeze it off quickly, you know? All right, whenever you're ready, squeeze the trigger. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be able to take another one of those. That gun is scary. What it is. Where'd the thing go? Alright, hold on. Yeah, stay stay back. We'll, we'll get it. Oh, I don't okay. want you to get to it. Really? I do. Yeah, you, you killed it. That's center. First of all, I wanted to thank you guys for taking me out today and showing me what it's like to go out to a range and shoot all kinds of stuff. Luckily, not anybody or anything, but you know, shoot the guns. That's kind of the only real problem I have with the guns. I don't really think you should have a problem with a gun. I mean, it's just like any other instrument, you know, it's the use of it and what's going on with it. People want to use them recreationally in a controlled setting like that rifle range. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that rifle range. It's very well regulated. I think there are certain instances where I think they should have probably had more people out and how busy it was. But for the most part, you know, it looked like it was pretty well run and, and the people that were around were knowledgeable. And the people that were there seemed to be serious about what they were doing because those aren't really the people that I worry about.